You know, after living in Los Angeles for 10 years, my husband picked me up and he said, we are going to move to Neptune, Ohio and live on his 100-year-old family farm. Woo! Party! Wow, so this is truly a big night out. I remember, I remember when he first told me, I was thinking, gone with the wind, you know, people working in the field, mama baking biscuits in the kitchen, people just helping me out, sweeping the front porch. Just, and then I moved there. I saw the family farm and he said, baby, you can do whatever you wanted to this place. And I said, can we burn it? <laughs> Tears welled up in my face as I looked over the soybeans. He said, baby, what's wrong? And I said, where are the people? He said, you are the people. So you are the people. Thank you so much for being here. My first anniversary on the farm. First, before we begin, has anybody ever lived on a farm by applause out there? How about flown over a farm, the rest of you? Because on my first anniversary at the farm, my husband gave me six chickens. And soon we had 286 chickens. He said, well, let's eat the chickens. I said, eat the children. He said, let's eat the eggs. I said, eat the babies, babies. I said, you go to the grocery store and get some of those homeless eggs. Those I might eat. <laughs> One morning, my husband woke me up and he said, let's go pull a calf. You know what that means? You know, a cow is giving birth. So I go out to our field unsuspecting and there's our prize cow. And she's hunched over really ugly and in pain and there's a thing coming out the back part. You know, like a face, like a pulled face, a purple and little hoofs. And my husband said, the cow will die if we don't help her. So I ran to the front of the cow and went <laughs> He said, do something. I said, you have having my baby. He said, now when the cow goes down, I want you to sit on her head. How insensitive and rude. Can you imagine the doctor telling your husband, go sit on her head? Of course, Rick, you'd like that, wouldn't you? But he was fearless. He got in the back of that cow. It's a true story. And he took those little bitty hoofs and he pulled and he pulled and it came out. And everything else came with it. I said, put that stuff back in, it looks important. 